So you've gotten your hands on an old school mechanical keypad like this. These are awesome and cheap and great to add to a project, but they tend to come without documentation. They're all wired a little bit differently and interfacing them to a microcontroller requires doing matrix scanning of the keyboard matrix, which in turn means you need to go through with a multimeter and figure out which pens are wired up to which keys. Or you could let me solve this problem for you. I created Keypad Go because I was tired of solving this problem repeatedly. It mates to any standard off-the-shelf matrix scan keypad and produces output in both Serial and I2C, your choice. But in addition to helping with the matrix scanning part, it will also reverse engineer the wiring of the keypad for you. Let's watch. So I've soldered a pin header to the back of mine so I can attach it and remove it on the keypad. And we'll mate this to the keypad like so. Oop. And you see I've also attached a TTL serial cable to the connector on the back. This will let us run the setup mode. So in my serial terminal, if we hit reset on Keypad Go, you can see that Keypad Go has never been introduced to this keypad before, so it's entered setup mode. In this mode, we're going to press keys on the keypad, like one, and then tell it in the serial console which key that corresponds to. And repeat until all of the keys are done or until you get bored with it. A. Here's a pound key. So for the purposes of the video, I'll stop there. But then in the serial terminal, you press escape. And it says, here is the mapping of the keypad. And you can save it to flash. Now, if we reset keypad go again, all of the keys we taught it about come out as serial characters. The normal character on key down, the same character with the top bit set on key up. That's all we need to do. If we ever want to rerun the setup process, there's a button for that on the back, as well as a firmware update button. And that's pretty much all there is to it. 